Hello and welcome to another episode here on my channel. My name is Chaos Mool and today let's talk about the botched release, at least from a technical perspective, on Hitman 3. <sighs> let's all agree, online functions for a pure single player game are never a good idea and if you cannot basically assure your customers that they can basically play the game when there is the release and they need an online server to do or to play a single player game and you cannot assure that this online server is live and is functioning well then you shouldn't probably add multiplayer components or online servers to a purely single player game and a similar problem happened to hitman 3 um first of all i want to say this is not about the game I love the game, I really enjoy it. I have hundreds of hours in Hitman 1 and Hitman 2, and I will probably have hundreds of hours in Hitman 3, right? But the problem is just, this isn't about the game itself, it's about a technical aspect. A technical aspect which should have been fixed and at least talked about for months, but only started to slowly gained tractions a few days ago and then basically exploded in everyone's face today on release and it got so bad that probably most people didn't play the game so what happened so first things first we have to talk about a speciality of hitman 3 as i said this is a single player game but if you want to unlock new items or you want to unlock certain starting locations in the mission. This is all saved to your profile. And the really cool thing about Hitman is that you can play Hitman as a whole game. Hitman 1, Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 combined in one package and you can play all the games together. Of course, if you are owning Hitman 1 and 2. And in itself, that is an amazing idea. That means you are taking the items from Hitman 3 into Hitman 2, or you are taking the tricks you have learned and the items you have unlocked in Hitman 1 into Hitman 3, and so on and so forth. Again, cool system, but they are linked to your account you are normally using to play this game. And if that online server is not available, well, you cannot really save anything, which is already a big issue. But there is even a bigger issue because Hitman 3, at least on the PC, is now an Epic game exclusive. That means all your data from Hitman 1 and Hitman 2, well, is still on Steam because it's linked to your Steam account most of the time. And, well, if you're logging into your Epic account, that is your own save file. That is your own thing. So a lot of people were concerned about this. But IO Interactive announced very early that this will all not be a problem and you would just be able to have Hitman 1 and Hitman 2 on the Epic Store, even though you're owning it just on Steam, when Hitman 3 is coming out and everything would just work. Well, a few days before the release, they announced, whoops, that's not the case. Um, you have to buy Hitman 1 and 2 again. You basically have to start anew. Oh, and also, um, yes, you have to buy it again, but for 80% off. Isn't that nice? No, it wasn't. The people were really unhappy. The shitstorm which just started afterwards wasn't pretty and rightfully so like you basically just told the people hey you paid money for this product but if you really want to enjoy the whole package on a completely different launcher well then you have to pay again this is actually something people were afraid of right this is one of the things people are really afraid of when we have so many launchers on the pc and even on the consoles and well, it got so bad that something happened behind the scenes and out of nowhere they announced, hey folks, got you covered, you don't have to buy Hitman 1 and Hitman 2 anymore and even if there are issues 
uh, we just give you Hitman 1 and 2 for free on the Epic Store. So the first problem was resolved. Awesome. The second problem, though, is still there. The data of maybe your hundreds of hours of playing this game on Steam are still on Steam. So they have to get over to the Epic Store. But thankfully, they have a solution for that. You guessed it, an online server. So you have to go to the IO Interactive website or you log into the game and then there will be a prompt which is telling you like, hey, just transfer your data from Steam to the Epic Store. And well, what can I say? Uh, you have to create an IO Interactive account and then when you log in, you have to first log into your Steam account, then you have to log out, then you have to create your IO Interactive account or vice versa, like you can do it the other way around. Then you have to log out, then you have to log into your Epic account, because that is apparently the only way how you can link your accounts every time you have to log out, and then you can start the transfer. But as I said, the website was gone for most of the day and just a few hours ago I was finally able to start the transfer and now it's pending for the last four hours at least so for the first 12 hours my data was not available and I might say okay that oh, sounds like a small problem I mean sure like you can just play the game right and then you are getting your data later so what? You cannot use all your weapons immediately? Sounds more like an inconvenience than an actual problem. Well, that would be the case if there wouldn't be the fine print when you send your data over from um, Steam to Epic and the fine print says, hey, if you transfer your data, the data on the Epic store will be erased from Hitman and, well, the Steam data will be added. So that means if you have already played the game, you lose everything. You have to start anew. You have to do the levels again. You have to do everything again, like unlocking the weapons and whatnot in Hitman 3. So what most people probably did, like me, we just waited. Well, not quite. You can see me here playing the uh, first mission of Hitman 3 in the background, which I did today on stream. But that means when my data is hopefully there tomorrow before my stream starts, um, I have to do this mission again. Is that a big problem? No, because it's only the first mission and I just try something else, right? That's cool. But it's still like... <sighs> So all the stuff I have already unlocked for this mission, like the new starting area, some new items, it's all gone. I have to do it again. And just think about the people who might have not read the fine print and they just started to play. Some people might have already finished the first round of Hitman 3 or have already unlocked like multiple levels and multiple items. When they realize a few days later they can do the transfer, they're doing it, and then the data is gone. Ooh, they won't be happy. So, this is all a big mess. And I will be honest here, I think the biggest problem I really have here as a set is, this is a single player game. This is not like Destiny or an MMO out there, right? Where you maybe understand those hiccups and those problems. This is a single player game where it isn't really needed to have those problems, right? And then again, they should have started this days, if not even weeks ago. The whole thing of transferring your data from Steam to uh, the Epic Store, that started after the release. Well, well on the release, basically. It's like, why, why haven't you offered that before? Like, people could have just done this over the weekend. I don't, I don't really understand that you had to wait 
So people basically had Hitman 3 in your library before you could do the transfer? Was that like a problem? Like, I, I wonder really what the issue here was. Because again, they would have probably avoided most of the problems they had today by just starting this a few days earlier. So, and again, similar issues are on Xbox and on PlayStation. Like when you want to transfer your data from there, you have to do the same thing. And again, that's pretty, it's pretty annoying. And I haven't really played the game today. Like I've done the first mission because I knew I have to do it again. And then I was like, well, okay, let's basically wait till tomorrow. So that really sucks. And I hope some developers might have learned from this. Probably not, but would be cool. And yeah, I hope that when IO Interactive is uh, doing the same thing for their 007 game, then they will not do the same mistake again or planning accordingly. Because again, the, great is ama uh, the game is amazing, but it would be really unfortunate if, well, you can really play the game or you wait just till your data arrives. That sucks. So I hope they learn from this and it will not happen again with the next game. With that said, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.